Okay, so in the last video, we got this motor rebuilt. So it's not making a horrendous noise anymore. Um, so the next job is to basically rebuild the stack and then get it back in that car. Um, so um, basically, what you have on this end is the reduction gear, which is that one there. And that's the shaft where the motor, um, the hole where the motor shaft goes in. And it's sitting really prone to surface rust just from other motors I've had around. So I've got in the tendency of just putting a bit of spray oil on and um, putting sort of a, something over them to cover them. And that this up to about here sits in the oil um, inside the reduction gear anyway. So um, it's no issue with getting a little bit of oil on that. Um, and then the box just under here. So this is what's called the PEC. So that hole just there, um, under that black bit, um, that's where these uh, motor wires go. So when it wraps around around there, um, and then the air conditioning compressor sits onto by here. So yeah, and then you get that built and get it back in there. So I'm gonna crack on with that and I'll catch you in a bit. All right, cheers. Okay, so we're nearly finished with this motor. So we've got the uh, position sensor and that ring back on. So that's got a brand new ring in it. You can see that there, if I get the light in the right place. See that moving in and out inside that position sensor. So the old uh, ring in that goes in the middle was quite rusty there. So that's not good to replace that. Um, the position sensor looked okay. So that's gone back on. Um, this end you can access without too much difficulty. So when we spin it up, if you have any, have any issues, we can kind of regain access to this end. Whereas the other end, this is where the control box fits around so this one you can't basically access it unless it's like this when everything's apart when we start rebuilding this stack we literally have to get back to this stage to access this so that's why you've got to fit this um, new brush kit um, on there it's a three-phase motor but it's externally excited it doesn't contain any magnets so the rotor is wound and the stator is wound so you've got to excite the rotor um, so you've got to put some current into the rotor so it's got the um, brushes and slip rings um, and then got this cover back on that's a bit of a faff and got these uh, brush wires very important to get these around the right way as we discovered um, in a previous video previous project <laughs> um, so yeah so that's the cover that just goes back on over there um, and then I'm going to get the control box on the side reduction gear on um, and get this rebuilt and get it back in that car all right cool catch you in a bit okay so reduction gears on um, it's an air-cooled motor, that's the air inlet. And basically, a truth universally accepted, if there's a hole, um, you'll drop a bolt or a spanner or something in it. So we don't want to do that. Um, and then it's the air goes basically into the gearbox, through the motor, um, and out the back there. Um, so yeah, that's on. It's sort of reduction gear, 10 to 1 reduction and differential. So the drive shafts are where those green um, bags are. <laughs> Amusingly, I was just recording a member video outside um, and uh, yeah, the wife saw me and um, yeah, she did roll her eyes a bit. I don't think she's totally convinced about YouTube videos, to be honest. But um, yeah, maybe if we get a few more um, a few more subscribers, a few more members, um, then she might be convinced. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in sort of more practical videos about Zoe's sort of common issues and how you can fix those at home, um, then consider membership. It basically, um, it, those videos take a bit more time and lots more explaining. Um, they're potentially sort of like methods that I've developed. And so it just takes time and you just... Basically, there's just a little bit of cost to cover. I've literally made it as cheap as physically possible on YouTube. Even the most expensive level is less than two quid a month. Um, it's at 199 a month at the moment. So yeah, consider that. But yeah, so we've got that on. We'll get this box on next, um, air conditioning compressor on. And then uh, there's a bracket on the back um, that's got that dog bone, um, like engine mounting um, stabilizer bar bolted onto it. And uh, yeah, finish getting this built and get it back in basically. So. Yeah, cool. All right, let's do it. Right, now we're getting somewhere. So we've got this box on. So this is called the PEC, Renault called the PEC. Um, and that contains kind of onboard charger. The charging on the Zoe is kind of complicated, but a ch charging rectifier, that's a charging filter, uh, the motor controller, DC-DC converter, stuff like that. So lots of the power and control electronics. Um, and the battery, the main battery literally connects to this box via that cable that's just sat there that that comes on the battery so um yeah that that wiring loom the wiring loom connects to that position sensor on the motor that connects in there into the motor controller um, and then that's for the motor cooling fan that sits on there and blows down into there um yeah so this is rebuilt i need to put the air conditioning compressor back on and um, basically this is just held on with there's a bolt down there there's one of those either side there's a 
and you push this in, that bolt um, literally connects these two together. Um, and then there's a bracket here that's got four bolts and that's what holds it together. And this um, is effectively your motor stack. Um, and then that goes up under the bonnet and there's a mounting there. And then there's three bolt holes there and there's an engine mounting there. And then there's that stabilizer bar that we mentioned earlier. So yeah, this is nearly ready to go back in basically. I'm gonna um, get the compressor back on so that's built and then uh, have some lunch I think. And then um, we'll get this back in and see what happens. I really wanna get this spinning as soon as possible really and just make sure this is um, this is good. And then we'll know we're going the right way. Um, I sort of, I do take my time. I do do things sort of as properly as possible. Um, it's probably good I don't work for I sort of work for a garage or something because they'd be complaining that I'm taking forever but you know if I think the surfaces need cleaning up then I will clean them up um, alignment is absolutely critical these are not easy jobs um, I don't do many customer jobs um, but this is a customer job and this car's been sat around for a long time and we want to get it back on the road base it's a 68 plate so it's not an old car um, and the range on this car is a ZD40 Zoe 40 41 kilowatt hours of usable energy on these so the range in the winter, 120 miles, in the summer up to about 160 miles. So really good cars, really usable, fantastic range, heat pumps, really nice to drive. They just have this floor with the motors, but um, hopefully when this has been rebuilt, it can do another 70,000 miles and the uh, customer will be happy. So yeah, let's get it sorted and back in and see what happens. All right, I'll catch you in a bit. Cheers. Okay, cool. So that um, is back in. So we've got the air conditioning compressor on um and then that um stack is just bolted back in there so the next thing is to get enough connected so that we can test this get it spinning have a listen and um, because obviously when we spin it on the floor that's not very quick um and yeah just just kind of see if everything's okay make sure everything's happy um and then just continue on from there really so um yeah we've got to get this wiring loom all back on around the stack get the stack reconnected to the battery um yeah and just get enough on things like 12 volt battery and um, get some drive shafts in and stuff like that um and just uh, double check that we're happy so um yeah i'm gonna crack on with that and i'll catch you in a bit all right cheers okay so we've got the stack back in um i've just done the high voltage um sort of um, activation uh, put the 12 volt battery on. I haven't put drive shaft in. I always debate whether you need to really. It's not essential. You just have to be a little bit careful um, because basically this has got a parking lock within the reduction gear. Um, I've actually got the bar bits from the reduction gear. Yeah, so this is a first cog in the reduction gear um, where the motor splines actually go into there. Um, and it's got a parking lock, which basically just is a pin which jams this um and because we haven't got any drive shafts normally you'd use the you'd, you'd put your foot on the brake um which obviously stops the discs which stops the drive shafts which stops um the reduction gear and stops the motor and then you put it back into park so we basically have to wait for the motor to spin down and um, once it starts spinning before we put it back into park and that's the only thing um but yeah i'm just keen to see um what this sounds like see how we're doing um, and hope that we're moving forward um, and not having to go backwards and do something else. So, right, let's give this a spin. I genuinely have, haven't spun it. Um, so, we shall see what happens. We've got battery charging impossible, not a massive surprise because we've got no um, charging socket. So, that's the brake booster. So car starts, the high voltage system is alive and awake, um, which is cool, I'll just turn that down. Right, I'll put it into drive. It'll moan because my door's open. Ooh, spinning. Sounds alright. Let's go and have a proper listen. Yeah. So there's no um, there's no oil in the reduction gear. So you get that slight mechanical noise. But the high pitched one is the motor. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's certainly a million times better than it was before. So there's no point putting our foot on the brake. Um, actually, I think we have to just to um, change gear, don't we? We just put it into neutral. Motor's still spinning. We just do that, so that shuts up. Right, motor stopped, brake booster again and into park and then we can switch that off okay fantastic so that sounds like i would expect you get that mechanical noise but obviously the, the reduction gear is dry 
Um, so and it's unloaded, so you, it doesn't take up any slack basically, and it spins forwards and backwards. It's kind of like a traction thing, so the car's trying to work out. Um, sort of, uh, it puts a little bit of torque into the motor, and and it expects to see the wheels move, and you know, and that's just it's kind of natural, natural state. Um, so what we know now, um, we're happy with the noise, so that's what I would expect the um there were no faults so the rotor position is working correctly which is the fault the car did once have although um that was just once and you could drive this car so in earlier videos um i drove it and we listened to the noise um so it's good that it's good that we haven't got that fault although it didn't have it when we started if you see what i mean but it was subject to that fault um, but we haven't at least introduced that so the tolerance of everything at the moment is good obviously we need to do high speed tests there was no load on there so we got to get it on an a road um, and basically hammer time and just make sure that everything is working well under full load but so far so good so it's back in it spins um and i am happy with that so yeah, the next thing to do is basically just crack on with the rebuild. Um, there's probably about another two to three hours, maybe, depending on how it goes. Um, so we have got... Uh, what I'm also going to do is take off the 12 watt battery, because it spins a water pump slowly, but there's no... Um, um, and there's no radiator, obviously no water. Um, interestingly, uh, with the Zoe, so I've taken the torque battery off there, but still spinning. Yes, yeah, so if we look in there, you can actually see. Uh, if that'll focus, possibly. You might just be able to see that spinning. You can probably hear it anyway. Um, so the car is alive. Um, I mean, I can prove it. Now I focus on one thing, then it loses the focus for everything else. Torque battery's off, Zoe party trick. Car's not running, but it's still awake. Um, and that's basically just because the DC DC converter is still running. Um, so yeah, obviously we've got to fully rebuild this front. Um, so the next things are drive shafts. Um, there's the subframe, which is that that thing. Those pointy bits go forwards, so it goes along here and then backwards. Um, and then you kind of rebuild up the front from there. So there's like the radiator pack. Um, there's a crash bar, which is just towards the back over there, that one. So that goes from those three points there over to there. Um, yeah, and just and just fully build up the front, basically, and then lights, bumper, scuttle, we've got under trays, we've got coolant, reduction gear oil. Yeah, just those little things, really. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. That sounds okay, sounds like I would expect. Um, and I'm happy to crack on. It's certainly an awful lot better than it was before. Uh, proof of the pudding is in the eating. As I say, we've got to do some good tests. But um, yeah, I mean, as I said to the owner, well, this will be under my warranty now. So obviously, if it has a future issue, we've got to take it, you know, bring it back, take it apart, work out what's gone wrong, um, and sort it out. So yeah, cool. All right, good stuff. I will catch you later. Cheers.